Hello, good day. This is Jay, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a website. Now, the first thing you need to know about creating a website is that you should get a web host. That is, you get you need to pay for your domain. And there are so many wonderful web hosts available. Okay, so we are in this part of the page. It says the best web hosting services that you can rely on to host your website. We have Bluehost, we have HostGator, and there are 10 of them here, okay? I recommend any of the 10 can serve, okay? But most especially Bluehost, HostGator, SiteGround, and HostWinds, okay? Any of them is also cool. Now, you can look at Bluehost. This is Bluehost, and uh, this is a uh, sideband. Okay. Now, Bluehost. Uh, let's go to their hosting. Shared hosting is the one we can afford for now. And let's also check out sideband hosting. Okay. For startup, you need one website, and it's like four dollars a month. Here, you can host unlimited website, twenty gig web space. And it's like six dollars a month, but for Bluehost, for, for Bluehost, we can host one website for like three dollars a month, and uh, like five dollars a month, we host unlimited websites, uh, you know, with unlimited bandwidth and all of that. So, I think this is cool. For Choice Plus, we host for six dollars a month, and we'll have unlimited storage you know you can compare them here then you know the one you want to use okay for the sake of this video i'm assuming we are starting everything from scratch so we need to use any of these hosting companies let's try this one for example so we'll click on select okay so say so we need to create a new domain let's see uh example let's see quick leg .net. Your domain will be your website's address, okay? Like www.google.com. Google.com is the domain, okay? Okay, so this is the domain quickleg.com. Quickleg.net is available, okay? So, long story short, you fill in all these details, then you're going to fill in your MasterCard or your Visa card, your ATM card that you use to make the, the payments okay now after making payments your cpanel the hosting company will send you an email containing your password and your username for your account okay so after receiving the email the email means they acknowledge your payments then you can log in to what we call your cpanel okay you log in to your web hosting C panel okay now we have created our account we have a new account with Bluehost or SiteGround okay one more thing guys this web host these companies let me show you something let me go back these companies can let you register .com .net .org .co .biz okay all these are generic domain extensions now, if you want to register a country specific domain like Nigeria, for example, we have .ng, .com .ng, okay? You use a local uh, web hosting company like, for example, okay, guys, so if you want to host any website that ends in .ng or .com .ng, you use registeran.com .ng, okay? So you can see the com, the ng, the ng, and all of that. Okay, because this is a local web host. However, I recommend you use all this uh, international uh, web host. Okay, their servers, uh, from my experience, it's better to use them. But if you want to register the dot com dot ng or dot com dot ng, then you go for uh, register dot com dot ng. Another one is domainking.ng. Okay, you look for uh, your, you make your registration. Okay, now we have finished registering on Bluehost. We have filled in the form. We have put in our MasterCard. 
we've checked for available uh, domain names for example okay now we want to go ahead and when our cPanel will receive the email from the web host and our domain is available now okay we need to go to in the cPanel the cPanel looks something like this okay we have your software your mail your all, all these things okay security advanced visitor starts so that's it for now we have our domain we bought the domain already which is quickleg.com okay uh, I've already bought the domain earlier on before this video so we'll go to file manager of our domain of our cpanel look at it quickleg.com we've just purchased it and then we'll click on yeah access to file manager now if I go to quickleg.com this is what you will see okay it's just a new domain we just purchased nothing is there already okay we just bought the hosting nothing absolutely nothing is there already okay after signing up you now have your hosting account you have the domain okay nothing is there already so we want to build a website and I'm going to show you a very fast way to build your website now we are going to be using what we call WordPress okay WordPress is a content delivery uh, a content management system that you can use to create any kind of websites It's very beginner friendly and it's easy to use you can use it to create a school website church website anything you can think of at all okay a company website, whatever website it is you want to create now we are going to go back to our cPanel and we we'll look for WordPress okay we've seen it here guys WordPress installer so we'll click on it we want to install WordPress on this domain quickleg.com so let's go and click on WordPress and install it quickly okay so guys as we clicked on WordPress installer we are taken to this page we want to install WordPress on our website so we'll go to install now and uh, okay choose the version you want to install it's in the latest version already I want to install it in HTTPS my blog my WordPress you can write anything this is quick news okay write the name of your website the name of your website is uh, ABC you write it here if your name of your website is circle readers you write it here you write it here then your site description you what is your site all about all about news and sports or entertainment and gossips okay so I can say like uh, gossips and entertainment uh, you can say you can say quick leg okay that's the name of our site uh, our website so admin username now when you log into the back end of your account okay you need a username and a password so this is what you are going to set right now our admin username normally I like to use admin for username okay then your password password and uh, I'm going to install classic editor it's a simple way to uh, I don't know you're going to see how it works you're going to see how the classic editor works I'm going to install it WordPress data not necessary really but you can install this I just like to keep my installation really simple okay I don't go to advanced options and any of that set my language okay maybe install classic editor and I choose install okay so my WordPress website is installing is getting installed okay that was fast so we have WordPress has been successfully installed at quicklake.com administrative URL is this so let's go to our admin URL then let's refresh this page now since we have WordPress in it okay so we have WordPress installed already guys just like that okay you have our website now I want to go to dashboard PHP update required okay 
So sometimes you might not see this, but if you see this then, it's very easy. You go back to your cPanel. You want to correct this error here. I want to show you how to do it just in case it happens to you. PHP update required, okay? Right here in your cPanel, you come to uh, a place called... I'm looking for, okay? You come to 1H software, okay? You come to PHP version manager. When you click on it, it takes you to your website. The folder where you have your website, you click on that folder. Which is where I have my website now. I want to go to manage PHP version. Okay. And I click on save. When I click on save, I should no longer have that problem. Okay, so I go and refresh. This yeah, so that PHP of this stuff disappeared because this WordPress is now using the latest version of PHP. Remember, I, I went to uh, 1H software, PHP version manager, then clicked on the folder where my website is, okay? Click on my website folder, and then upgraded the PHP. Okay, that's how to, to do that if you have that kind of problem, okay? Typically, I don't think you're going to have that kind of problem if you're installing it for the first time, all right? So this is it guys, we have the back uh, end of our website, this is the front end of our website, okay? The back end is where you, you the administrator uh, part of our website, okay? The administrative part of our website, it's only the administrator that can come here and change anything. So if you change anything on the back end of your website, the front end of your website, it will reflect on in the front end of your website okay so let's go and create a new post let me show you what i mean uh, let me add a new post how how to create a website okay and then we come here blah 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 Okay, we just create a very sensational post. Then we publish. How difficult was that? So we go here, here and refresh. How to create a website? Blah 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 blah. And yep, that's it. Now I'm logged in here. Okay, if I log out, then you wouldn't see this edit button here. Okay, that's how to create. Uh, we just created a post on our website. We just created a post on our website now you can change the team team is the, the way your website looks now this is how our website is looking we want to change the appearance so we can change the appearance of our website by changing the team now this is the team the current team we can activate this team okay so we've activated this uh, team let's see There you go, guys. The outlook, the look of our website has changed. Okay, so teams are responsible for changing the appearance of your website. Okay, without even knowing how to code, without even doing anything, you've changed the outlook of your website. And guys, you can go to Google and type free WordPress teams, you have a lot of them, or you can even come here, you can add a new team. Um, WordPress provides you with a lot of free teams already. Okay. So you see there are a lot of free teams here you can use for your websites okay a lot of them of course paid teams are better and more uh, have some extra uh, that's exquisite look a lot of free teams are good but paid teams uh, if you want to advance if you want to make your website look more professional then you can go for paid teams so you just go to google you type paid WordPress teams and then you can buy anyone you want come here and install it Okay, you go to add up if, if you don't like any team here You can upload your own team after buying from any Website, okay, you upload your own team right here. And let's just say You don't want to create a blog you want to create a company. Okay, uh, a company website or a, uh, a church website or a school website easy guys you just go head over to uh, Google 
or under good place to go to is teamforest.net. Okay, so this is teamforest.net. Let's say we want to create a, um, a church website. So we'll just type in church here. Church in WordPress. Alright guys, so you can see our different church websites. Let's click on this one for example. This one caught my attention. A lot of church websites, a lot of church teams, church teams you can use guys. Easy, right? So you just install this church team and you have your website looking like this. How powerful is it? Okay, with just a touch of a button, you have your website looking very professional and looking so cool, okay? So this is you you pay $39, you buy this team, then you come here. You come here and upload it and then you activate the team and your website is going to look just like this. Let's preview this live. Wow, this is the church website, okay? So if you like this team, you want to build uh let's say a website for a church or a school or anything, and uh, you have the money to pay then teamforest.net is a good place you can just buy the team install it and you have your website looking like this okay then you can just put more pages do a lot of things i want to keep this video really short i don't want to do so much okay so it doesn't get unnecessarily long and you don't grow tired of it okay let's just keep it at teams and plugins for now now if you want to install plugins the same thing plugins help us extend the functionality of our website they help us extend, it's, what, it's, it's, it's a way WordPress uses to extend the functionality of a basic website, okay? For example, let us go to add new plugins. Now, WordPress have a, has a lot of free plugins that you can use <coughs> on your website. For example, if you want to, you can search, okay, let's go to popular. Let's go to the popular WordPress plugins, okay? Just another contact form plugin, simple but flexible. Now, if you want to install uh, a contact plugin or form plugin, okay? You can install it using uh, just by clicking on this install now, okay? So they help you extend the functionality of your WordPress. Now, this is an Elementor page builder. You can see it has five star reviews, it's a very good. Page builder. We are going to install it now. Let me show you how a plugin works. Okay, this Elementor page builder plugin. We are going to activate it right now, so you can see how plugins work. I'm going to close these pages. And yeah, this will be the last thing we are going to do. Okay, if you want to know more about WordPress, this is you. You have all it takes now to start creating a very good uh, website. Okay, I encourage you to play around, okay? It doesn't bite. Play around with it and uh, you can build any type of website, okay? You can, you know, install a, a church team, a school team, a company team, a freelancer team, different types of teams, guys. I just showed you how to change themes, okay? How to create a post. The same way you can create, uh, upload images using the media here, all right? Now we are in the Elementor, uh, plugin uh, getting started page you can watch this video then is this elemental editor will help you by showing you know you just it's, it's a drag and drop editor that helps you create a page without stress okay so let's create our first page guys so you just see how it is okay so this is uh, the page we want to drop a widget here, okay? So let's go and drop this heading. So you say, I am using Elementor, okay? And, uh, I want to give it a sensational headline. Okay, so you drag and drop, guys. Basically, this is you just drag and you drop. Okay, 
Um, we go back here. I uh, want to add image. You can add image to this page. Okay. You can add image here. You can add image here. You can add image just in inside on that drop box. Okay. So this is your image. By the time you are done with this, you hit publish. Okay. Your post is like. Let's go back. Exit to dashboard. Okay. So you can add, uh, upload images, and use it there. Now this is uh, the name of the page. But we want to change the name of the page. We can just come in and say first page. Okay. When I did this to say first uh, page. I say okay. So I update. Okay, so I want to view this here. View page. So this is quickly the term slash first page. Okay, so we just build this page using the Elementor plugin. Okay, bear in mind that I'm just showing you that it's a drag and drop uh, plugin. Okay, that helps you build websites without stress. Okay, you drag the text. You drag the images, you drag videos, you customize it. It's a very simple way to build website. Even if for people like you and I that don't know jack about uh, writing codes and stressing ourselves with all those painful programming that brings headache. Okay, so WordPress is a good place to get started if you want to build a very wonderful and unique, you know, sweet-looking website. Okay, now I want to encourage you if you. Uh, to subscribe to this channel, I'm going to be showing you a lot of things guys, okay, a lot of things here on this channel I'm going to be showing you a lot more than this, okay, how to really get your website out there to be seen by many people It's one thing to be the website, it's another thing to, you know, get the website to be seen by many, many people, okay There's a lot more to just creating your first website, okay so uh, if you stick with me in this channel, I'll be showing you a lot more things. You're going to be wild, okay? How to accept payments, how to build a, a, a form, do a lot of things with your websites, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. And if you've not subscribed before I log out, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel, guys. Subscribe to this channel. I promise you lots of helpful information will be coming your way. I have a lot of things packaged for you guys, okay? So if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this and like this video if you if you think I'm giving you value, okay? Yeah, thank you very much. Like this video. For those who like this video, I want to say thank you very much and I promise not to let you down, okay? See you in the next video where I'll be saying something that you are going to be interested in. I promise you that, okay? You'll be interested in what I'm going to share with you in the next video. Make sure you watch that video, click subscribe and stay blessed. Peace out.